Learning Objectives After completing this module, learners will be able to Understand the three main components of the environment Differentiate lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere Understand that the Earth's surface is divided into continents and oceans Learn the important features of the seven continents Learn the important features of the five oceans. Differentiate between isthmus and strait. Differentiate the different layers of the atmosphere. Understand the composition of different gases in the atmosphere. Understand that the density of the atmosphere varies with height. Understand that biosphere includes the land, water and air. Understand the harmful effects of increased amounts of CO2 in the atmosphere. Lithosphere and Continents The Earth is the only planet which has land, water and air that are essential for life. The three main components of the environment are lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Lithosphere this is the solid portion of the earth on which we live. It comprises of rocks and thin layers of soil that contain nutrients for organisms to survive. The earth's surface is divided into large land masses or continents and huge water bodies, ocean basins. There are seven major continents. 1. Asia is the largest continent. It covers about one-third of the total land area of the Earth. 2. Europe is much smaller than Asia. The combined land mass of Europe and Asia is called the Eurasia or Europe plus Asia. 3. Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, is located in Africa. The world's longest river, the Nile, flows through Africa. 4. North America is the third largest continent of the world. It is linked to South America by a very narrow strip of land called the Isthmus of Panama. 5. South America lies mostly in the Southern Hemisphere. The Andes, world's longest mountain range, runs through its length from north to south. South America has the world's largest river, the Amazon. 6. Australia is the smallest continent that is surrounded on all sides by the oceans and seas. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef. 7. Antarctica is located in the southern hemisphere. It is permanently covered with thick ice sheets. Antarctica has nil percentage of population. Hydrosphere and Oceans Hydrosphere This layer comprises water in all its forms. Ice, water and water vapour. More than 71% of the earth is covered with water and 29% with land. More than 97% of the Earth's water is found in the oceans and is too salty for human to use. Oceans are the major part of hydrosphere. They are all interconnected. The ocean waters are always moving. The three chief movements of ocean waters are the waves, the tides and the ocean currents. There are five major oceans on Earth. 1. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. It is spread over one-third of the Earth. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the Earth, lies in the Pacific Ocean. 2. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is very indented. This irregular and indented coastline is ideal to be used as natural harbours and ports. It is the busiest ocean from commercial point of view. 
3. The Indian Ocean is the only ocean named after a country. The shape of ocean is almost triangular. It is the world's third largest ocean and covers 20% of the Earth's surface. Fourth, the Southern Ocean is also referred to as the Antarctic Ocean and covers only 6% of the Earth's surface. It is home to penguins and albatrosses, blue whales and fur seals. Five, the Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle and surrounds the North Pole. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. Atmosphere and Biosphere Atmosphere The Earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere. It provides the air we breathe and protects us from the harmful effects of the sun rays. The atmosphere is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. These layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. The atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen which make up about 99% of clean and dry air. Oxygen is necessary for life. Nitrogen helps in the growth of living organisms. Carbon dioxide absorbs heat radiated by the earth, thus keeping the planet warm. It is present in minute amount. It is essential for photosynthesis in plants. The density of the atmosphere varies with height. It is maximum at the sea level and decreases rapidly as we go up. Biosphere The biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between the land, water and air. It is in this zone where life exists. The three domains of the earth interact with each other and affect each other. All the living organisms including humans are linked to each other and to the biosphere for survival. Carbon dioxide or CO2 is an important constituent of air. An increase in the amount of CO2 leads to increase in global temperatures or global warming. Therefore, we should use the resources of the earth judiciously to maintain the balance between lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. The three main components of the environment are lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Lithosphere is the solid portion of the earth on which we live. Hydrosphere comprises water in all its forms, ice, water and water vapor. The three chief movements of ocean waters are waves, tides and ocean currents. The earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere. The different layers of atmosphere are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. The density of the atmosphere varies with height. The biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between the land, water and air. All the living organisms including humans are linked to each other and to the biosphere for survival.